Kilo Mike Four Oscar Victor Hotel. Roger that. And what's the name, please? Uh, name here is Andre Alpha November Delta Romeo Echo. Oh, Roger, Roger. And what radio are you running? I'm currently running a Flex 6300 through an Ameritron AL80B amp. Roger, Roger. Well, let's see here. You might be, um, <clears throat> I would suggest we visit the uh, ALC. Can you uh, bring up your ALC for a moment? Okay, I'm bringing it up some. Whether it's doing any good or not, I don't see the needle bouncing, but maybe you can hear a difference. Uh, I hear you pushing your ALC quite hard. That's why I wanted you to uh, take a look uh, at your ALC and see what you were reading. Uh, uh, yeah, I guesstimate you're probably about 20% uh, too hot, Roger. Uh, I, I, how about now? I just changed it in the other direction. I'm still trying to figure all of this out. Is this any better? No, I, I would take your mic gain down. Uh, find out where your mic gain is, Roger, and let me know what that is. Uh, the mic gain was set to about 65. I just lowered it quite a bit. Is this any better? It's getting better. I would go about uh, 10 lower than where you are. Okay, we're down to about 25 right now on the mic gain. How's this? Ah, that's sounding better, sir. You are you are of the human species, Roger. <laughs> QSL. I'm glad you're on the air to do this. I've been working with a couple of three different radios trying to get all the uh, different setups at a temporary location that I'm at. And uh, sometimes it's awful hard to tell what you sound like on the other end. Roger, Roger. Well, we have uh, different conditions. Uh, what kind of power are you running, sir? Uh, let's see. Right now, I guess I'm peaking about 900 amps. Uh, 900 watts? Watts. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe we got a little time here. This band is is uh, shifting around so fast. I, I was trying to figure out whether you were on 100 watts or what, so depending on how fast we have to talk here. Uh, I would uh, bring your, do you, can you access your compressor? I would bring it up, put it in line, and put it at about a 3 out of 10. Put it at about a 3 out of 10, Roger. Uh, QSL, how's this? Does this sound any better? Uh, do you have your compressor in line and about a 3? Uh, sure do. It's, it's actually a processor, though it goes to DX, and that's uh, what gives me my compression. Roger, you might have hit your VFO just a little bit. We're on uh, uh, 7189. Oh, QSL, I've managed to change the frequency a little bit. How's this? Much better. All right, so we have our compressor in line and running about a 3 out of uh, 10. Uh, well, on this one, the flex, it's called the processor, and it goes normal DX or DX plus. I also have the uh, audio processor that I can change the different frequencies on. Uh, Roger, well, you, you, uh, hmm. So they call your uh, compressor a, uh, what do they call it? It's just called the processor, and it's uh, either set for normal DX or DX plus, and I'm showing about, uh, half the scale on the compressor right now. It doesn't really have numbers. It just goes from zero to minus 25 dB, and I'm probably pushing about 12 on the peak. I got you. Okay, uh, let's, uh, we'll hold that. There are no other lower scales than that on that processor? Okay, right now I have it set to zero, and I'm only pushing uh, an occasional blip on the compression. Uh, Roger. So uh, if you can go to a zero on it, can you go to a, uh, a uh, three out of ten, a thirty out of a hundred, uh, however you are marked, Roger? Normal, which is zero, or to uh, the, D the DX setting, which then pushes me up to around minus twenty-five. I'm sorry, we doubled over some of that. Um, we just want the least uh, possibilities out of the uh, processor, Roger. We just want it in, but just uh, not to be able to hear it working, Roger. Uh, QSL, I just dropped it down to the normal position, and um, I'm getting maybe 8 or 10 on the voice speaks right now. Uh, Roger that. Now, uh, do you have access to your ALC? And if you could look at your ALC uh, with uh, your hand on your mic gain, and then adjust your mic gain to where your ALC is mid-scale to two-thirds. Okay, give me just a minute here to get set up for that. Just a few seconds. 
Uh, Roger that. This is KC9VKV and the uh, Friday afternoon KISO Vlog Network. If you've got a radio you want to check out, uh, give us a shout. Uh, right now uh, we're uh, talking uh, with a KM4 OVH, uh, but uh, we'll be clearing shortly. Okay, I'm uh, on KM4 OVH and I'm messing with the ALC right now, dropping it down a little and uh, trying to keep an eye on the amp and uh, watching three different things at one time. I'm showing a little bit of compression, very little, and I'll see what we have now. Roger. So really, actually, all we want to look at is the uh, ALC and the mic gain. And we adjust the mic gain to where the ALC is uh, mid-scale to two-thirds. Roger. Uh, QSL, I'm moving it down a little bit now, and we'll see what we have. Is this any better? Well, it's, um, yeah, you're, you know, what we, we call a dynamic range in your signal, and, uh, you know, unprocessed audio is a, has about a 10 dB dynamic range. It, in other words, some view meters just flopping around, you know, and uh, as we start uh, fattening that signal up, the view meter uh, starts uh, maintaining its uh, upper uh, readings and doesn't fall all the way down because the fatness of the signal is keeping it up. So what we're looking for at the end result is about a 3 dB dynamic range. And we get that through... Uh, uh, some compression and uh, also uh, bringing a signal up uh, as far as the ALC is concerned to the uh, probably closer to the two-thirds level than the, the than the mid scale if the truth be known but anyway the end result we're looking for is about a, a 3 dB dynamic range Roger I think you've uh, kind of slid down on my uh, uh, my receiver here. I am copying you mostly on my uh, local receiver. We are running also uh, three uh, SDR receivers to keep us, um, you know, try to get us some better signals, uh, particularly when 40 starts uh, <laughs> falling apart, which it does quite often. Uh, so we have four other options other than just our our local antenna, but uh, last uh, be known, uh, you were best on my local antenna. So come back and let me see where you are now. Uh, I think I know, uh, what I did is I turned off the process here, and it seems like it dropped my signal down quite a bit. Is that any better? Uh, I would go to one of those um, where you were earlier. Uh, I think uh, where you were earlier might have been better. That uh, that normal uh, level on your processor, normal level on your processor. Let's see where where that goes. Uh, QSL, that's where I'm at right now. The normal setting on the, on the processor and showing very little compression. Uh, Roger that. Yeah, that's that would be about right because we don't want to uh, be sucking up the cows mooing in the South 40, you know. We're just looking for just a, a little fattening. Uh, I would move on now to our EQ. Can you uh, find your equalization, Roger? Uh, QSL, I got that right now. All right. What uh, we want to do is uh, maybe add a little more top end to it, maybe a couple of clicks more uh, top end, Roger. Uh, QSL, I just added a couple at the 500 kilohertz and one at 1 kilohertz. No, no, uh, top end, uh, somewhere around, uh, do, what do, what's your EQ, uh, what kind of EQ do you have? Uh, it could go anywhere from, it starts down at 63, it goes up to 8K, and I have, yeah, I just raised the 2K up some, and uh, I have most of those, up, 1K, 2K, and 4K, at the, almost at the top of the scale. All right, what we're looking for is uh, about uh, 2.5 and 3. Uh, if, uh, if you would, uh, maybe 3. Uh, we wanted the uh, syllabic range uh, increase if we possibly can. So uh, I would say uh, <clears throat> go up to the uh, 3, 3K range, treble, 3K, uh, and uh, add about 2 from where you are. All right. Uh, I think we're coming along. Uh, tell me uh, again uh, if we haven't. Uh, maybe uh, something about the radio that you like best, so I can get about uh, 15 seconds of audio. 
Well, what I like best about it is that it has a lot of a lot of opportunities for you to learn things, and it's uh, basically run from a computer, and I was in the computer business for 25 years, so I get to do a little bit of everything, ham radio and computer work and software integration and just a lot of different stuff, and uh, I'm a fairly new ham, I've only been doing this for three years, and it's just a very... Uh, I only do the hop, only do this once in a while when I really have time, and unfortunately, I have to use compromised antennas. So uh, there's a lot of issues I have to deal with, and that's why uh, playing with the audio today is one of those things I just haven't had a chance to do yet. Uh, Roger that. Just make a note off to the side, uh, windscreen. <laughs> get a get a windscreen when you can. No major emergency, but uh, you know if you can, sometime drop by your music local music store and pick up a little windscreen. That always uh, helps uh, the microphone. You know, uh, sometimes uh, we can uh, actually uh, get more transient stuff in our microphone than than the words that we're speaking and so in reality we wind up QRMing ourselves so just a, a windscreen can solve a, a bunch of that so um, w- wonder if we could check out maybe the next level of your uh, processor the next highest level of your compressor Roger QSL, uh, I just raised it up to the DX setting, and uh, I'm not showing a whole lot of compression right now. I believe I'll have to raise my mic up a little bit to get more compression. And this is up, okay, now i got a little bit more compression. All right, uh, keep an eye on your ALC. Uh, that's the whole thing, you know. If if you can turn up your mic, uh, drive your compressor a little harder, uh, and still stay uh, below uh, getting into the red on your ALC, uh, have at it. Uh, QSL, it looks like it's working pretty good right now. I'm going to raise the mic just a little bit more, and I think that's about as far as I want to take it right now. I'm getting close to the red. Roger. Well, your uh, your dynamic range is now up to about two and a half, so that's that's uh, exactly what we were looking for, Roger. Between three and uh, two and a half and three, Roger. Uh, QSL sounds good to me. I think what I'll do is I'll leave it here and I'll save the settings and make some notes, and uh, maybe I'll check in with you next Friday and we'll see if we can maybe fine tune it just a little bit better. So uh, KC9 VKV KM4OVH. I appreciate all your help, and I'll be listening in on some of your other. Uh, conversations here to see if I can pick up some more pointers. Roger. Now, I did notice that you might have been banging pretty hard into your ALC. You were just on the verge of uh, a little distortion, which is indicative of uh, hitting your ALC a little too hot. So uh, keep an eye on your ALC uh, with your new uh, mic setting, and uh, you do want to stay out of the red, so you might have to back it off just a a little bit. But uh, only you can tell, you and your ALC. Roger, Roger. I appreciate the help, and you're right. I'm probably getting real close to the to the red, so I'll have to back it off just a little bit. But uh, thank you for your help today. I appreciate it. Roger, Roger. And what was the name again? Uh, the name here was Andre, Alpha November, Delta Romeo Echo, and call sign is KM4OVH, and I'm currently in Southern Maryland. Ah, very good, sir. Well, let me say threes to you, uh, and uh, uh, if you can, uh, check in maybe next Friday and uh, let me know how everything's uh, going. Roger? Uh, Roger that. Thank you very much, and I appreciate it. 73, and have fun today. Yeah, I think I'd definitely back off about five on that mic, about five clicks. Uh, Well, I'm not sure what it is now, but uh, uh, bring her down just a a little bit because you are pushing pretty hard. Uh, QSL was just backed it off five. There you go. All righty, three is that away, sir. Have a good afternoon and a good weekend. Uh, this is KC9 VKV and the QSO V Log uh, Network. If you have a radio that you want to check out, uh, give us a shout. This is KC9 VKV.